Hi everyone, welcome to the last video in November. This month I have been talking about how to give up habits and the reason that we have to give them up basically. And in order to do so we need to have commitment and we need to be able to manage our thinking. But what many people will probably be lacking in to be able to do so is the confidence in themselves that they are able to do it. So that's what I want to cover this time. And I think confidence often plays a role in the why or the willingness to commit to doing something. A lot of the time we're struggling coming up with a why that feels strong enough. We want the why to motivate us to be able to do something. And that is because we are not confident that we can do it. So we need something that is super strong to get us over the confidence barrier in order for us to actually do it. But if we just believe that we could do it, the why wouldn't have to be as strong and the why would be enough. So we figure out a why, something that is really compelling to us, and then we commit to making the change and then we need to use courage to take action towards changing that habit. Because if we don't have the confidence, what we need is the courage to do it anyway. If it's something that you have wanted to change for a very long time, that almost feels impossible. It's completely normal to feel scared. You are scared of failure most likely or disappointing yourself. You are scared of making this commitment, but in, ultimately it always boils down to that you don't really believe that you can do it. And you don't want to experience the, uh, the failure that you will experience when you can't stick to your commitment. And that's okay, it's, it's fine, it doesn't really matter as long as we are aware of it and we can work around it. So that is why we need the courage. And with courage we can keep moving forward and take action, even if we're scared. It doesn't matter if we're scared, we have made this commitment and we can keep going anyway. And the more action you take, the better you will become at the action that you are taking. And when you become better at this action, you will feel more confident that you can do it. And that is how you start building confidence. So the more action you take, the more times you practice them, the more confidence you will develop and experience, and the more confidence you will have in your own capability of overcoming such obstacles or uh, facing fear, if you like. I hope that makes sense. So this is why I want you to push yourself a little bit towards goals that you might feel are unachievable to you right now. Whether you initially achieve them or not actually has less importance. What's important here is that when you are taking action towards something that you want to achieve, over time you will learn and you will develop new skills and you will start believing in yourself and your capability of doing it. And when you have built up this confidence, everything that you want to change in your life will feel much more doable. Even if it doesn't have anything to do with your eating habits, it might just be with having a promotion at work or applying for a new job or anything. Because you know for sure that you are willing to face your own fears and you're willing to do it. And that ultimately leads to you being able to do it. Maybe not initially, maybe it will take a while but you still continue working towards it and you know you can trust yourself to keep going and get to your goal at some point. And that is why the more confident you are, the more commitments you're also willing to make because you don't have to fear failing yourself. When we truly believe that we can achieve whatever we decide that we want to achieve, we want to achieve a lot more things in our lives usually. So in order to build confidence, you need to want to challenge yourself. The more you challenge yourself, the more confidence you will build. 
that makes sense i hope if you never challenge yourself you will never get more confident you will be stuck where you currently are and you're probably going to be frustrated with your life and that things are not moving forward since you can't seem to get out of it and that is because you are unwilling to challenge yourself and do things that are uncomfortable because you're scared that you might fail or you might not be good enough and what most people do rather than trying and giving the, the, their best shot is to not even try and this guarantees that you will not get more confident so if you want to guarantee not get any more confident in any area of your life never challenge yourself because that is the way that you are getting more confident and obviously you won't get the changes in your life that you're looking for and that is when you start feeling stuck and powerless and miserable and life sucks and we don't want to be there eh, i don't anyway but if you can anticipate the struggles and the failures and the hardship of going through what you need to go through in order to make this change that you've decided that you want to make you can see them as opportunities to help you become a stronger and more confident person. And then you can move towards the struggles. So because the more you practice overcoming them, the better you will become at doing them and the more confident you will be. So if you're always seeking the struggles out, you will become a very confident person. You will know that there is no struggle that is too big for you because you can do it. So imagine that you go to the gym, for example, it's the first time you don't normally go to the gym and you see all these heavy weights and you are just thinking, oh my God, I would never be able to lift those. They're way too heavy for me. And then you just walk out and you don't lift any weights. Of course, you're not going to get any results. That is really easy to understand. But if you go in and you start lifting the smaller weights that you can lift, you will build some strength. And with the strength comes confidence that you will be able to lift the heavier weights in the near future. So you start believing in yourself. And it's the same thing with all kind of obstacles and challenges that we have in life. If you just not, uh, avoid them, you will not get better at dealing with them. If you deal with them, however catastrophic the results are, you have started on a journey and you're starting to deal with them. You're starting to take care of that. And you can learn from your mistakes if you make mistakes. There's no huge drama. It doesn't really matter. The most important thing here is that you keep going. Something fails and you're all right with that. Okay, see it as a learning opportunity. And you can keep going. You just have to find a different uh, strategy to deal with it. And when you can see each obstacle or difficulty as an opportunity to develop a new skill that will help you become stronger rather than something that's just in your way and that you you would rather not face it you will be able to trust yourself to be able to overcome almost any obstacle no matter what that obstacle is and when you can trust yourself to follow through even when things are hard you're building your confidence no matter how many curveballs you have thrown, you know that you will keep going and you will come out on the other side and you will be much better off for it. And that is confidence. For those of you who are doing the extra work this month with the worksheets, this is the last worksheet I'm putting out this month and it covers not just this video, but it also covers the other videos to some extent. So it just brings everything together a little bit for you. So hopefully that will bring some clarity to you and give you a way of moving forward with changing your habits and actually believing in yourself. So I hope that you have enjoyed this month. And if you like these videos, if you like what I do, please like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, leave a comment, anything. I really appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back again in December. Have a good day. Bye.